I wanted to make a quick video about using social media to hunt for your first job as a software developer. But a lot of these things that I'll talk about could pretty much apply for any field or anything that you do. Now, the first thing that I started doing was I wanted to be consistent. So uh, I signed up for an app that I use back when I did like social media uh, management for a vape blog, like way back, maybe like 2017 or something. And basically what I did was I would schedule text posts and I would schedule at least three a day. So for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, I will always have these three text posts going every single day. And the first mistake that people make when they want to kind of take advantage of social media is that they think they're just going to make one post or two posts or that they're going to post for a couple days or a week and things will start happening or they'll get comments and they'll get likes or that they'll even connect with the people that they're trying to connect with. That's just not how social media works, right? If your house was on fire and you made a post to Instagram or Facebook or even Twitter now, um, and you said, hey, my house is on fire. If you see this, call 911 or send help. Chances are you probably will fucking die <laughs> because it's just not how social media works. Now, what happens is as you connect with people on LinkedIn or people like your page on Facebook or people start to follow you on Twitter, slowly but surely you start to get incorporated into their feeds. Nothing will happen instantaneously unless maybe they're following a certain hashtag on something or they're actively looking for content. So, you know, if I'm on Twitter, I'll literally type in the search box JavaScript. I'll sort it by like the top tweets and I'm actively finding people that are just talking about JavaScript. But other than that, there are very few organic ways for people to come across your profile or your post. So you have to understand that. And the other thing is that this is like a, a three to six month process to allow things to ramp up. So I started taking this seriously in either June or July of last year, 2019. And the first uh, result, I guess, that I got was that I got a message from someone on LinkedIn that said, hey, you know, basically, I like the stuff that you post. I see the type of things that you post. You seem like a cool guy. In Chattanooga, we're having startup week. And, you know, you're in tech. These sound like events that you would be interested in. And um, he actually offered, you know, to get a beer sometime if I was ever in Chattanooga. I actually didn't get to meet the person that told me about it, but I did get to go to Chattanooga and experience Startup Week and just be around other developers and be around, you know, startup founders and really feel the energy and the vibe of being in a different city. Um, I actually got invited to like send my resume to a guy to consider me for a role. It didn't end up working out, but just that, that traction, that momentum of getting out there and actually feeling something, man. Like in the job hunt, you know, you, you want to celebrate the small wins and my cat is about to jump on the couch and probably interrupt this video. Hopefully not. So, you know, you, you have to post, uh, consistently. Yeah, I know. <sighs> You have to post consistently and you have to give things time to work or they're they're just not going to work. Um, you know, it, it would be the same thing if you were looking for a job and you just started walking outside and going from door to door and asking people, you know, hey, do you have a lead on a job? Do you know someone that's hiring? No one really knows you and they're not used to seeing you online. They're not used to seeing you posting and, you know, in the States, in America, we're cynical people. So if we suddenly see you just start posting and you're just asking for stuff, you're asking for stuff. You're not actually sharing anything about your story. You're not actually trying to create value. You know, people are suspicious of that and it turns people away. It makes people not want to engage with you. It makes you seem not genuine because you're really not being genuine. So that's a huge thing to consider is that 
you have to give these things time when you start posting on social media. Now, the second thing is uh, learning out loud, which I actually picked up from someone else on LinkedIn. Uh, her name is Martha, Martha Sharp. She inspired me to basically start learning in public. So I do this in different ways on Instagram than I do on LinkedIn. On Instagram, I actually took a tip from Chris Doe. He's an awesome designer. Um, and you should definitely check out the future without an E at the end uh, to learn more about that. But on Instagram, I share carousel posts about things that I'm reading or things that I'm studying. So basically, I will take whatever I'm reading or studying or trying to learn and I'll turn it into like 10 slides and I'll share that to Instagram and LinkedIn. Everywhere else, I mostly share text or I share videos. And I talk about everything. Like my most popular posts are typically things that resonate with people and hit home the most, which is when I talk about like my failures. So if you're struggling with the job hunt and shit is hard, everybody knows it's hard. I had a phone call with the recruiter and, you know, I was being positive like I am. And she asked me, you know, well, how are things going otherwise? And I was just like, eh, you know, they're okay. She's like, it, things suck, especially dealing with recruiters. I know dealing with recruiters sucks. You know, you don't have to lie. And <laughs> when I'm recently, like very recently, one of my most popular posts was about why I don't have a job. Uh, even though I graduated boot camp in July of 2018 and it's January 2020, I still don't have a full time job as a web developer. Um, it resonated with people, you know, people start asking for my resume, recruiters start saying, hey, let me give you a call and just, you know, talk to you about some roles. Um, another opportunity that came from literally just posting and you know letting it letting it be known that I'm actively looking for a job I'm actively working on making myself a better developer was that someone I went to college with but I hadn't spoken to for at least like four or five years said hey um, I saw your post saying you were looking for a job it looks like the stack that you learned in boot camp is it's like the same stack that they work with at this place where I had an internship so you should apply to this job there. I followed through with that. Um, I don't actually apply for internships. Um, I much prefer if I apply for like a full-time role and they offer up the internship instead because that just takes out like a lot of the struggle of like having to demonstrate your skills, improve yourself and things like that. And this is exactly what happened when I applied for a software developer role with Axio. Um, I had the initial meeting that went good some time passed um, you know Thanksgiving passed um, and basically I was invited in kind of for like an informal interview so it was a different type of interview and I made a post about that and bam that one blew up as well so the post was about instead of all these stupid coding drills and data structures and algorithms in the interview, I just got to walk in, uh, pull a card off Kanban board, and the card was basically add a button to this app that would let users like, basically like add a milestone or add something that would help them keep track of their progress. And I made a post about that and people loved it. Like people that already had jobs, people that are looking for jobs, developers from all walks of life celebrated that post and I was able to use that post as leverage because that was kind of like my first big thing to go out on social and I only put it on LinkedIn. I didn't actually cross post that or share it anywhere else. Um, so that was the second big win. But again, that only came because I've been posting for months relentlessly, not letting up. And I ended up basically accepting an internship for that position of course with the hopes that at the end of the internship it'll end in an offer but also because I really found a place that I could see myself working at I found a place where I like the people um, I like the work environment and that was always my biggest struggle in the job plant was like what it boiled down, it boiled down to was essentially I was applying for a bunch of places because I was so desperate for a job and I would get to the interview and I would realize like, 
I really don't even want to work here. Um, so just some, some quick tips as to how to use social media for your job hunt. And the only reason that I kind of diverged and went off on a tangent into like how things have paid off for me is because that's really what people want to know, right? They don't really give a fuck that social media can help them. They want to know what they can get out of it. And that's pretty much the only way they're going to stick to it. But some quick tips, use Buffer to schedule text posts um, at least, you know, two to three times a day. You can do that for free for three profiles. So I would recommend doing that for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, a second tip is for Instagram, get into carousel posts because honestly, it's been a feature for a long time and no one's really taken advantage of them. So share what you learn with carousel posts. My third tip would be using Gary Vaynerchuk's dollar and 80 cent strategy, whether that's for Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter. Um, look into that and give that a try. I'll definitely leave a link to that um, in the description of this video. And my last thing would be that you have to decide the type of person that you want to be, right? So, geez, my cats are making this really hard. <laughs> The reason that I decided to get into social media was because I wanted to give myself every advantage. Um, I also, at some point, want to be an entrepreneur, maybe have my own startup, maybe have my own product. I'm not totally sure yet, but I can see that for myself in the future. And the thing is, you know, even if I'm not the best developer or the most talented developer, I'm going to be able to get my foot in the door a lot easier than the average candidate because when people go and look at my Instagram or they go look at my Facebook page or they go look at my LinkedIn page, they're going to see that for months I've been self-documenting not only my, my journey, things that I'm going through, but also what I've been learning along the way. And, you know, over time, I've met people that I could mobilize. So if I need a reference, I could probably go on LinkedIn and ask for a reference right now. I'm going to a meetup later tonight. Um, I could probably ask someone like, hey, you know, I've been seeing you for a couple of weeks. You know, if I needed a reference, could I put you down and, you know, maybe you tell a little fib. You know, luckily, I haven't had to give any references, so I haven't had to compromise myself in that way yet. But basically... I have social media as a tool at my disposal. Like I'm using it, it's not using me. I'm not doing it for attention. Um, I'm not doing it for, for clout, really. You know, I'm, I'm literally doing it to help people that are either exactly where I'm at or they're in a worse spot than I am where like they don't know how to code yet, they're still thinking about boot camp. You know, so I'm really trying to help people at the end of the day. I'll continue to do this long after I have a job, long after I retire probably, like I've decided that this is just something that I'm gonna do. And you have to have that type of commitment if you wanna win at social media. You know, like you you have to, people people can, can see that, they can sense that, they can tell if you're genuine or not. So that's something to consider. If you have any specific questions about how I, you know, use social media or you wanna, see some concrete examples of posts and things of that nature. Um, I do my best to kind of curate and put those in the description and share those. But for the most part, you know, using social media in the job hunt literally boils down to sharing your story, um, talk about the interviews that you go on, talk about the questions that you get asked because there might be someone coming right behind you going to the same interview tomorrow and they can ace it based off of your failures. And that's the type of personality you have to have if you want to win. You have to be able to celebrate other people's wins and successes. So again, if you have any further questions or something you would like me to talk about in more detail, um, please, you know, drop a comment on whatever platform you see this video on. You might end up seeing like a 30 second clip somewhere. But yeah, if you want me to go further into this, maybe have a more technical logistical video about how I use Buffer and how I decide what I'm going to talk about or what I'm going to discuss, let me know and we can get really deep into this while I'm still in this stage and phase of life of 
and job hunting because it'll be a lot harder for me to talk about after I have a job and my content kind of switches. So um, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't go on too long. If I did, let me know. I'm totally open to criticism, constructive or otherwise. And I will see you all next time. For anyone that's hunting for a job, good luck.